May we never render help to people who will later seek for our downfall. As you all know, it's Ozzy here again. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This is a story of two boys who were fired from their jobs for dancing on duty. They both worked as security guards at an eatery and on this fateful day, luck decided to shine upon them. A customer who was very entertained by their dance moves decided to make videos of them dancing on the duty post. Video trended and got people talking so much and even though they were fired from their jobs, they were very lucky to see someone who out of his generosity decided to send them on scholarship to school abroad. People were so happy that they had finally gotten help but they questioned their previous employers for sacking them when they were just entertaining their customers. A lot of people felt it was inconsiderate on their part and they also felt that if they had retained those two boys, they would have gotten more customers and visibility. This sat from their jobs as security guards got them lots of sympathy and that sympathy eventually got them lots of fame. They went ahead to create accounts on several social media platforms and they named themselves Happy Boys. They then went on to keep dancing only this time. They danced for the world. Yes, they were being watched by several people all over the world via their social media platform. Also went to Cyprus to continue their higher education through the help of their benefactor who was in fact a pastor. Now things took an ugly turn when they decided to come to social media to cry for help. They accused the pastor of abandoning them to suffer. They said they were so tired and they wanted to come back home to their country, Nigeria, and that was not all. They even released voice notes of the said pastor laying curses on them. I placed this curse from the pain in my heart that doing good become evil. Whosoever, no matter who that person is, that I use, you, you didn't pay one cobo, you didn't spend one naira. It is from often at night that people drop in the altar. What other pastors use in buying private jets? I said, let me use it to help you. Now I do you good. You use evil to pay me. You will remain poor forever. You can never achieve anything in life. As long as, whether anywhere you are, you will suffer poverty. No, you can never achieve. You can't even buy one plot of land. If there's any other things, other clothes you've bought, the, through the money I use in sending you to Cyprus, you will sell those clothes to feed. You will become so wretched. My heart. And that was also not all, my dear brothers and sisters. They also made another post saying that nobody can use their star to ride private jets and expect them to keep quiet. They also asked, where are the other people that he has been helping? Where is their transformation? He should bring proof of people who he has helped. Now, as usual, we all know how people will react to news like this. So people were really furious with the pastor, especially when they heard the voice notes. People were like, why would a pastor be laying courses on people? Some even said, why will he start what he cannot finish? Why will he take them abroad only to leave them in the dust, only to leave them in the cold? <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, even though there were lots of people attacking this pastor, there were even more people attacking the boys. This time around, somehow, there were three boys and I was confused. Well, wasn't it two boys that were sent on scholarship? But well, that's by the way. People started doing some critical thinking while some others decided to do some digging. And according to lots of people, they weren't even going to school. Hmm. Would you believe that lots of people were even saying that these boys have failed lots of courses? And as if that wasn't all, they had drawn lots of tattoos, they had pierced their ears, in fact, they had started living la vida loca. They were not living like students who were sent by the church on a scholarship. Now, let's not be as if I'm exaggerating. Here are some pictures of them before and after. With this discovery, lots of people started calling them ungrateful. People started asking, come to think of it, why didn't they post themselves in classes? Don't they have social media platforms? Why didn't they make use of it to show the world that, look, we are doing what we were sent to do? The pastor in question released a public statement explaining that things has been so bad, especially considering the fact that the dollar rate has been increasing steadily. He then went on to say that he's willing to continue the scholarship, but this time around, they just have to come back. He has paid for them to come back. They should come back and continue their schooling 
in a Nigerian university. Well, the pressure and criticism was so much as things didn't go as they planned, so these boys decided to make an apology video, and here it is. What do you guys think? Did that look like an apology video? Well, it didn't, to me at least. In fact, in the apology video, they looked like they had just taken drugs because if you looked at their eyes, they looked like they were high before making that apology video. Also, why are they suddenly not interested in coming back home? And they obviously seem to be doing well because they said day or day and from that day or day you should see that they are quite capable of living by themselves in Cyprus and taking care of themselves. So the question now, now is, why did they have to create a fuss about this if they know that they can actually take care of themselves? Why calling the pastor out? There are so many questions on my mind right now, but here are some lessons you should learn from this particular story. Number one, be careful with the way you help people. Observe them first. Carefully observe their character and know whether they are worth helping or not. Because a lot of people will stab you in the back forgetting that you have rendered a lot of help to them. Number two, people hardly value what they didn't merit or actually work hard for. Number three, if you want to help people, help them with what they actually need. Because from the look of things, what those boys needed was not a scholarship. Those boys were dancing, they found joy in dancing. What he could have done was things that relate to dancing. But then I saw one comment, someone said, eh, he should have started a business for them. Do they look like people who are interested in starting up businesses? Those boys clearly have a thing for dancing and that is exactly where their talent is. Number four, if we are helping someone, we have to be prepared mentally with the fact that there are lots of people who are ungrateful and the fact that you are helping this person is not an assurance that that person will actually be grateful. So when you prepare yourself, if they eventually turn out ungrateful, it will not be a shocker because that pastor was too shocked that he had to lay curses on them. From the voice notes, it shows that he was really hot. He must have made, made investigations and found out that, oh, these boys are not really living up to expectations. And probably he was hot and nobody knows what he has been through in the hands of the boys all this while to actually make him lay such curses. Yes, what he did was not right. He shouldn't have laid curses on the, the boys. But let's not pretend. If it was even your own children, my dear, you will be, you will be to the point that you will actually want to curse them. Yes, you might not cause them, but you feel so hot, you say a lot of hurtful things actually. Because we are human beings and the pastor is also a human being. Number five, this one is for people actually receiving the help. If you are being helped by any set of people, a person or an, or an organization, you should understand that these people have a certain level of expectation from you. 
and you should try to live up to that expectation somehow nobody says you should change your, yourself nobody says you should maybe suffer yourself or or to prove that okay they have done a lot for you no no one is saying that what people are saying is you should try to live up to that expectation at least let their money not waste if someone sends you on scholarship you should actually go to school they paid for that school with their hard-earned money people in this man's case people contributed money in church for that scholarship so you need to live up to that expectation and the fact that the people that we are sending them on that scholarship we are actually a church that's to tell you that even if you are not a christian even if you are not religious or something there are some certain things you will do and you will lose the grace of those people you will lose the favor of those people those people will not even have the will to continue helping you. Number seven, learn to make good use of any opportunity being given to you. Learn to make good use of any help someone renders to you. Because these boys could have made good use of this opportunity. These boys could have graduated. If they had gone through the right line, they could have actually stayed in school, studied, gotten their certificates gotten jobs and turned the life of their family around and people will still keep on helping them because they have created a good name for themselves if people see the evidence of the things that are being done in there people will still like to help them because people feel like they're trustworthy number eight ungratefulness is a very big disease avoid being ungrateful if anybody offers you help try your best to be grateful these boys, even if, let's say, they might have found out whatever they found out, we don't, no matter what, even if they felt that maybe this man is using their star, even, it's even, I don't even understand what star they are talking about. Because with their star, they were, they were security guards. That's how far their star could take them. Someone decided to help them, and they decided to come out in public and start talking ill of the person. If what they are saying is true, the man is using people's stars and all that and all that, then lots of people that feel that the man is also using their stars, <laughs> they should have come out by now. Yes, they should have come out, but they should have seen it as an opportunity to actually come out and air their mind. But it's obvious they are alone on this because they are not towing the right path. You see this level of ungratefulness they have just displayed? They won't realize the level of damage they have done now. It's in the future. Because they have created a certain image for themselves that it will be really hard to get rid of but let's hope that in future things will still be well for them i wish them well but anyway don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel guys mm. bye bye <laughs>